Hey everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Hey Alexa. I am so excited to have you guys join me on this journey of talking all about mental health, self-love, um, chronic pain, all kinds of things. I think it's so important because we all have a story and I want our stories to all be shared. I will talk to reality stars, celebrities, athletes, professionals, and everyday people. And for the first episode, I'm going to just share my story and why I'm doing this and what has come since. So, and then our next episode will be our very first guest. And from then on, it should be guests each time. So thanks again for joining and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so my story started back in 2016, um, July. I had just graduated from Michigan State. And I had my whole life ahead of me. And so what happened was I was out of town visiting family and a week into our trip, I was in a car and we got a green light and we started to go and a lady ran a red going like 60 miles an hour, T-boned us on our car, uh, my door to be exact. And I hit my head hit really hard the window and kind of went the other way. So, we got out, everyone was okay at, at, at that point. Um, EMS came, I got checked out. I had a, I had a headache where I was hit um, or it was just sore, but that was it. And no one went to the hospital. Um, we got pushed like 48 feet and almost hit a concrete sign. And because of the car we were driving, which was Mercedes, um, it was a very strong car, so we, it literally looks like we had no damage on ours, where the other car had, I think, according to the reports and stuff, I don't remember a lot of it, but um, according to all the reports, it was um, damage. And she had four kids in the car um, at the time, and I believe it was not alcohol or drug related, it was more distracted driving, hence no texting and driving. Um, so I went home, we went back to my uncle's house and what ended up happening was a couple of days later, I was still like, it was just dizzy and I just didn't feel good. Um, nauseous, what you'd all think as a concussion. Well, I went to the doctor, his doctor, and they had me go get a CAT scan and he told me I was fine. It was probably just a sinus infection, which I was a little confused, but he said it might've been a sinus infection. It had been coming. And when I hit my head, it made it come out. I'm like, okay, I didn't really know anything. So I'm like, okay, that's good. I don't have a concussion. I go home, um, I go to see my doctor. My doctor basically tells me, so I was still in pain, still wasn't feeling great. And he basically said that it could be depression from the accident, just making me not feel good. So he, set me to just kind of try and live my life. And I also went to a chiropractor because I did have neck issues, like whiplash. So about a few months, about a month later, I got a job. My dream job at the time uh, was working for an event planner. I'd always wanted to do event planning. I got in full time and I just noticed I wasn't picking things up like I normally do. Um, I wasn't thinking clearly and I just was, I, don't, I wasn't sure why. And I kept getting hit or my head kept hurting where it was hit. So what ended up happening is I actually got sick and had a sinus infection. I went to my doctor and I said, is it normal to still have this pain from four months ago? This is, I think, December of 2016. And they're like, no, it's not. So I went to a neurologist. I told them everything that's gone on. I told them my symptoms. Right away, I had a concussion slash post-concussion syndrome because the concussion was probably already gone, but I was still having symptoms. So we ended up, I had to go get tests done. I had to go to like vestibular therapy. I was on medications um, for a couple of weeks. This was right around Christmas, New Year's. Um, and then the week after, nothing really helped. So I had to go see a pain doctor. Pain doctor told me I had something called occipital neuralgia, which is where like in your occipital nerve, it's like, I think it's like swollen or it just hurts and you get a lot of these symptoms. So they gave me a shot, an injection, and that ended up not doing well. I got really sick, had bad side effects. So when I went in to have to do the other one, they said we're not doing it. And they wanted me to go to this program 
then you talk to neurologists, neuropsychologists, like all kinds of stuff. And at the time I was still working. So I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I, I think I'm okay. Like, I'll be fine. So as time went on, it got really bad. And I started to notice it kept getting worse and worse, the like not remembering things and the medicines weren't helping. So I ended up having to get taken off of work. I kept messing up and it was really bad. So that was February of 17. I got taken off work. Then I, um, after that, I went and saw a new pain doctor who basically told me I was going to be cured in four to six weeks and by walking and whatever. I'm like, okay. So I did what he said. And that's when things got really bad. I started having like this tingling down my arm in my fingers. I would get just, I'd be really sick. I just wouldn't feel good. I couldn't do anything. And I went, I did a, some kind of therapy where like cranial sacral and it was just not good. So I went back to that doctor and he basically tells me that in so many words that I was making it up, that I was doing this all on my own, that I should be dumping for joy because I'm totally healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. I shouldn't be crying. And there's no way I'm in a 10 out of 10 pain. I was shocked. I'm like, I never heard anybody talk to someone like that. Like it was disgusting, especially someone that was supposed to help you. And I had just graduated like a year, not even a year ago. Why would I have wanted this? I was 22 years old. I had my whole life out of me. I'd rather be working and doing, not just living. So I left him and I ended up, I was supposed to go get an MRI a couple of weeks later and I ended up getting, I had these spasms and I ended up having to go to the hospital because it was so bad. And they did my x-rays and I found out I had another disc um, in my neck. I had one before from the accident. And basically I just started going to I went to this whole new set of doctors and I went to a neurosurgeon who basically said that he, like, he couldn't do anything for me because it wasn't ready for surgery, but he sent me to his partner, um, in the same unit, but they were, took care of pain. And that was when I was finally diagnosed with central pain syndrome, which is when you have issues with the brain, brain, stem or spine, it causes all kinds of nerve pain and issues. And that's why I was feeling a lot of what I'm feeling. And a lot of that doesn't come up on a test. It doesn't show in when they're having me walk. They're not, it's not making me walk weird. It's just, it's like by, um, another name that people know is fibromyalgia. I had a doctor telling me I had that too. So I've had a few different things. And over the last four years, I've gone through different doctors. I've gone to neurologists. I've seen neuropsychologists. I've seen pain doctor. I've seen, I'm into pain clinics for like lidocaine and I'm going actually, well, I would have, I already went um, by the time this comes out, but I went and I'm getting ketamine infusion, anything to just try and manage this pain. Um, and today I'm doing okay. I have bad, really bad days and I have some really good days. So it just kind of just depends on the day. I, I'm learning what helps and what doesn't. And I've just really been working. Um, and the reason this was, I wanted to start this podcast is I started, it was called With Love Alexa. Um, I don't know if any of you that are following me now, maybe follow that. It was about two years ago, I started a podcast, um, very kind of similar. And I had a, had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I had some great guests. We talked about mental health and chronic pain. And that was like the majority of what I talked about. But Later on, I kind of branched out a little and because there's so many topics surrounding mental health and chronic pain that I want to talk about those, like the, the nutrition part or fitness or just learning to manage. Um, also, just bringing yourself up, being confident, and we all learn in different ways. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this podcast. I'm kind of re rebranching. So it's similar, but a little bit more broad. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. I really hope so. And I would love if you guys ask me questions. Um, I'll, I'll have a, my Facebook or my Instagram, which will be, it's Hey Alexa, the pod. And that's going to be in the description. Um, I'm going to start sharing guests as I'm recording. So you guys can ask them questions. 
Um, and I'm going to be playing games in, with my guests. And it's just going to be really fun. Um, so I'm really excited for you guys to be on this journey with me. And I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, and I hope even somewhat, maybe my story can help somebody else. My main takeaway is you know your body. You know your body more than anybody. And for that, Trust in yourself, trust your gut, because you're probably correct. Just like I knew something wasn't right, and I didn't listen to that doctor who told me, oh, you're fine, you're healthy, be happy. No. I, I went on to figure something out, and I was right. I was right that there was something not right. So listen to your body, because you are strong, and you'll always be strong, and just listen to it, and, and talk for yourself, and if you can't talk for yourself, get someone that will, because you need an ally in this fight. All right, this was the first episode of With Love Alexa, or Hey Alexa, and I can't wait to you guys to hear the rest. Bye.